All right, welcome to another episode of the Cups and Cakes Vial Unveil, and this is a very, very special episode. In fact, it's uh, probably going to be a one of a kind because today I have with me the man behind the record that we're about to <laughs> open. Say hello, Jonathan. Hello, hello, hello. So, I, I mean, we just recorded an interview and I figured this would be really fun to have you actually open your own record. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the opening and stuff. Okay, but I, I would mess it up <laughs> if I did. So. I definitely want to talk about the packaging because this we put this on our favorite uh, packaging of 2018. Thought that, um, I mean, the artwork on it was just phenomenal. I haven't seen anything inside yet. But um, maybe the, the picture and the concept behind it, could you maybe talk a little bit about that? Totally. No, it's cool. I like, I, we, we worked so hard on this and, and nobody ever asked about it, so I'm, I'm pumped. So this, this is a, a photograph of an existing series uh, by uh, Quebecois photographer uh, Benoit Piale, which I'm probably butchering his last <laughs> name. Um, but it was like this remarkable coincidence uh, that this existed. Um, because it's sort of like the visual equivalent of what we did with the record, like there's this sort of square of light um, propagating all this light out into the forest, and that's kind of what we did with sound. If you just substituted that square of light with a speaker, uh, it's sort of exactly the visual equivalent. And I contacted him, I was like, this is the only, al this is the only thing that can be the album art, please let me do it. And he was like, yeah, sure. And he's this very, very cool guy, so big thank you to him. Cool. I, I mean, to me, that's one of the most beautiful pictures I've, I've seen in a long time. He's a master. Yeah. yeah. And, and like you said, it just it suits the album so, so much. So anybody that doesn't know, actually, Jonathan and I had a, a chat on Inside the Artist Studio. You can head over to the website, cupsandcakespod.com. That's cups, the letter N, cakespod.com. Listen to that. You'll get a, a serious, serious background on this record, a lot of info about how it was recorded and created. Now the back here, Jonathan, what's the idea behind this? Yeah, so this is, this was one of the hardest things about doing the record actually. Um, I think the way that this album was made, there's so many people in so many different places doing so many different things that the liner notes would have been ghastly and like not <laughs> yeah. nicely designed. So trying to think about a way to actually show the relationships of what happened in, in, in kind of like an organic looking thing. Uh, we found this sort of WebGL repository of all this kind of really interesting code and, and data, uh, I guess, visualization stuff. And this is a techno, sort of the code here is this thing called hierarchical edge bundling, which sounds super <laughs> complex, but it tries to basically put chords and stuff as if it was a nervous system, kind yeah. of like a natural way of like grouping stuff together as if you would, you know, loose spaghetti or, or whatever. Um, and if you, on my website, there's this link to the credits. And if you hover over somebody's name, all the neural networks of what they worked on, in which countries, on what songs, playing what instruments will sort of light up. Oh, no way. And yeah, it'll just <laughs> like, if you hover over Andrew, it's gonna show that he worked on uh, Fast Twitch in Western Canada, and he is responsible for some voice. And then if you hover over me, like it's the, quite a bit of it, or yeah. my engineer, it's quite a bit of it. The, the thank you section is pretty big. So it's like a quick, I, I hope elegant way of, of showing how this thing was created. That's super cool. Yeah. Okay, well let's, uh, let's take a look inside here. Cause this, so this came out on Paper Bag Records, right? That it did. Now, uh, Paper Bag Records is definitely known for having really good vinyl releases. I've always impressed with everything they do. And you, we saw when we opened it, it came with this um, band across it, which is something that Paper Bag is kind of known for, which is a nice little bonus. Instead of throwing a hype sticker on the cellophane, they do this thing. The Obi Strip is what it's Is that what that's yeah, called? Fine. An Obi it's Strip. Originally a Japanese thing. Okay. Yeah, I think it's so classy. I was really into when they wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. They do that for all their releases. Yeah. I, I really like it. So let's take, first off, let's, you got it. No. So no download. No. Uh, <laughs> what, was, that a con there, was that a conscious I think decision? there must be somewhere. I don't know. The, <laughs> there are no liner notes, though. We, we kind of went for that thing on the back yes, of the record definitely. instead of having uh, a track list or liner notes because it, it shows you everything there. Yeah, it covers it all in a really sure. cool way. Okay, let's take a look. So if you were astute, you saw on the OB strip that this is on clear vinyl. 
Very nice. Yeah, the clear was sort of like, well, let me show you. This is very nerdy, but basically okay. like, if you were to take the vinyl, oh, okay. the square fits exactly in there. Okay, yeah. And the vinyl is sort of translucent, not totally clear, not totally opaque. Uh, it sort of colors whatever you see through it, sort of like what happened when we played music back into the forest. That yes. was pretty intentional. And if you flip the, the record over and the cover over to, um, there's a way that if you place it on there, it all matches up. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, seeing things through other things and having the, the record change what you see through it was like a big part of our concept for this, for sure. Wow. I, the amount of thought that went into that. That's awesome. Yeah, it, was a, it was a lot. <laughs> it was very But I mean, and that's why I love vinyl so much because it it is so much about the packaging. Yeah. And it allows you to do so much. Like this new world we're living in where people just listen to Spotify playlists. I hate totally. it. I hate it. This I love. <laughs> <laughs> so it's super fun, for sure. <laughs> we'll take a closer look at the label here. One thing about this record that is also kind of fun is there is a bonus track on the record called Honeymoon. Okay, yes. Uh, which is not on anything other than the vinyl, and it's actually in its own groove. So if you play the record back to front... You won't hear it. You won't hear it. You actually have to place oh, the needle is that what in its own solitary groove. Right there. Yeah, that's it. That's so, awesome. <laughs> only if you know to do it. <laughs> now that's a cool idea. That's a really cool idea. Okay, now let's just look for the little, the run out here, which is gonna be hard to see on clear. Uh, kind of rake it off the sun there. And, oh, that's a big stamped run out there. Matrix run out, that one's easy to see. Let's try to see this etched one a little bit better. There it is. Oh man, you got some over here too. There's a lot of info on the on here. Well, this is a 45. 45 RPM? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, okay. Different yeah. Than, than what I was expecting it to be a 33, a, a 12 inch. Cool. I forget why we, I think it was because it's quite a short record. Yes. So maybe my master, it's been so long and I, I never grew up with vinyl and I don't remember yep. any of this stuff, but I think it was like we could afford to do that because the record was a little bit shorter. Nice. Yeah. Right on. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much for opening this with me. My pleasure, yeah, <laughs> super fun. Uh, this was actually part of our favorite packaging of 2018. Get this record, paperbag, paperbag.com, I think? I don't know, it doesn't matter. So, there'll, there'll be a link in the description. Highly Googleable. Yeah, there's definitely sure. a link in the description. Pick it up, there's only 100, correct? Oh man, I have no idea. I think there's only 100. It's a pretty limited run, Yeah, for sure. So yeah, follow that description link, pick it up, enjoy it. It's a phenomenal album. Jonathan, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Come back in another two weeks and watch us open another Canadian record.